Hello guys, today I'm preparing a new material about the S Drive Max devices for 8 bits Atari. My S Drive Max I bought in the UK, device cost me 64 euros. The device case and the CO plug were printed on 3D printer. The set also included a scriber for touchscreen. The printout of 3D elements is of good quality. S Drive Max is a good alternative to another devices here to SD. Both devices have advantages and disadvantages. This website has all the information you need to use S Drive Max. Electronic diagrams, instructions and necessary files. S-Drive Max is an emulator of floppy disk drives or tape recorder, the file viewer uh, available on this website for S-Drive Max is uh, very helpful in operating uh, the device. The manual available of this website uh, contains many necessary elements, uh, keyboard shortcuts, diagrams of device elements such as the CO plug, etc. In a moment I will show the prepared micro SD card for this device. It is very important to be formatted in FAT32. The device itself supports 32GB cards. The device recognizes short file names up to 8 characters long. In the main directory of the card, uh, place the S Drive ATR file. This is a file browser program. If you enable the device, it will be the default file. In a moment I will show you how to use the file browser of the Atari screen. I don't choose any file to use in the floppy drive or tape recorder emulator. The default browser loads. I press the reset after selecting the file of be loaded. My version of the device is powered by CO. After turning off the computer, the S Drive Max configuration is not memorized. Uh, this is a disadvantage of the device. The flashing flat on the floppy disk drive symbol shows the process of loading the game. Another method of starting the game is to use the touchscreen. The screen is very responsive and easy to use. Using the screen is much easier than in a CO2 SD. We just need to choose the program and mount it in the selected floppy drive or a tape recorder. The game is always uploaded with a floppy disk or cassette drive highlighted in blue. The last method of uploading the game will be the cassette emulator. Uploading the game takes exactly as much time as the Atari tape recorder. S-Drive Max synchronizes with the computer automatically. We must carry out exactly the same procedure on the computer as with the real tape recorder.
I think that the big advantages of the device is easy of use. It is very important to be able to upload game from CAS files. CO2SD doesn't have this option. The disadvantages are the lack of possibility to save the configuration after switching the device off. The device also only supports shorted names. I recommended both uh, S Drive Max and CO2SD. These devices uh, complement each other very well. Thank you for your attention. Take care.